Hey everybody, welcome back to Rusty Guns. So today's video, uh, as you can see here, I have a gun skins uh, small kit that I am going to be putting on my Glock 19. Um, the reason I chose this is because, uh, you know, a lot of people get guns seracoded or whatever, or they get special patterns put on it. And, you know, that's, it's an expensive process. And, you know, if eventually you do don't like that pattern that you have on the gun, then you have to change it and then it's expensive again. Whereas something like this, it's vinyl. You can, it, it's not very expensive. You can put it on your gun. Uh, when it wears out, you can take it off and put on a new one or a different one. Uh, so we're gonna give this a try. And uh, this is my first time ever using this product. So uh, I watched the videos on the instructions on how they want it done. and. You know, decide for yourself if it's something that you want to do. So the one that I chose uh, for my Glock 19 was this one here. And this is the thin blue line one. Uh, this I chose this simply because the this mount, this Glock 19 was the one that I carried as a when I was a police officer. So that's why I chose this kind of design for this gun. Uh, and as you can see here, they have a cutout piece at the top for the slide. Uh, this is not a full wrap uh, piece. This is one that is just what they call a, um, oh, what was the word for it? Uh, it's just kind of like a highlight kit. You're not, you're not gonna wrap the entire gun. You're only going to wrap the slide, which is this piece here. And it has two, two vinyl decals here that will fit right here on the frame of the gun. And then it has some small pistol mag pieces to fit on the bottom of your pistol mags. So you've got like flags there for the pistol mags. You've got these pieces for the side of the grip. And then you've got the large piece for the slide itself. And so I'll go ahead and read a little bit of the instruction thing that they give, that they give you. Uh, before you get started, take a minute to watch our videos, which I did. Uh, in order to successfully install our product, you may need the following tools. A heat gun or hair dryer. Um, I'm using a hair dryer because I know most people don't have access to like a big heat gun. So we're just going to use a hair dryer like m most normal people would have. Um, I don't use it but because my hair is so short. But anyway, uh, gun specific degreaser. Uh, a hand squeegee, which I'm just going to use like a credit card or something. Uh, I don't really see the point on using a certain squeegee because uh, I'm not doing like a full wrap or anything on this. Uh, a small brush, uh, so I'll grab a small toothbrush here in just a second. Uh, a hobby knife with extra blades. I have uh, blades right here. I've got plenty of them. They're not hobby knife ones, but uh, they're sharp and pointy enough. They'll do the trick. Uh, Lint-free towel, piece of foam or sponge, and a bit of patience. <laughs> That's always a good thing to have. Uh, and then frequently, frequently asked questions. So I'll read a couple of these just for you guys so you know. Um, the kit has a crease in it. What do I do? Folding is normal. It may create a crease. Peel the material like you would during installation before placing it on the surface. Hit it with heat to reset the shape and remove the crease. Uh, why won't the material stick? Likelihood traces of gun oil. Um, so make sure you clean the make sure you guys clean your gun real good before you do it. How do I remove air bubbles? Poke it just poke it with your little Zacto knife or your little knife uh, and then heat it and apply pressure and that uh, will seal up the vinyl. Can I wrap the barrel? In most cases yes you can. Uh, they advise against it if you intend to shoot it in full auto or use a suppressor. Will the holster affect my pistol skin? This is, I know, a big question that you guys probably have, and I had too. Unfortunately, in regular holstering will create friction, and it will create early wear on the edges. Uh, it's unavoidable. Kydex holsters are especially prone to cause wear early, or especially prone to cause early wear because they are form-fitting to the gun. Luckily for me, uh, the holster I typically use with this gun is a leather holster, so mine will still wear, but it won't wear as badly as if I had a Kydex one for it. Um, can I still clean and lubricate the gun after putting the gun skin on? Yes, you can. So, basically. 
So all right, let's get to it. I know you guys have been, been kind of patient with me here so far. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I am going to do the grip part first, so I'll get this clean real quick. Uh, I've got some alcohol here. That we're... I always like doing that because heat dries up that stuff really fast. So we're gonna do this right hand side one first. And it says if you don't get it exactly how you want it, you can just pop it up with your little knife and reapply it. So we want to try to get this one as close to center as I can. We'll go with that. I'll press it down a little bit. I'll hit it with the heat. It says in the press on it. Tells me to use a sponge. I don't quite have a sponge on me, but I do have this nice cotton ball, and it will help get inside those creases as well. Trying to get it really down inside those that Glock logo. And that's how it's gonna look. So you guys can see that got just a tiny little tiny bit of a bubble right there. I'm going to go ahead and pop that real quick and uh, at least I can see one. Just I'm really wanting that Glock logo to stand out so it's kind of why being a little extra picky with that. Not bad at all. Kind of like it. Now they, most people were wondering, uh, like, if it's vinyl, is it gonna have? Are you gonna have a problem gripping the gun? Uh, on the full wrap ones, I would say you'd have much more of a problem gripping it. Here, you still got a lot of texture on the back, air on the on the grips, but on the side, there's not much. If you guys have a lot of stippling, if you guys stipple your guns a lot, uh, then it you're gonna have a lot of pushing down here, and you might be poking up through the vinyl on that. So, uh, if you have some really rough stippling. I'd say it's probably not a good choice for you, um, but you know if the stippling isn't really that bad, or you don't have a lot of texture like on these Gen 3s, there's not a lot of te texture right here, so you can get away with it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they make a, a what they call a grip assist for this. Uh, so if you do a full wrap, uh, they have something that helps you grip the gun a little better. And on this one. I'm still going to go up where I was kind of before, but I'm going to have to cut out on this mag release part. So. Just like that, and then I'm going to make this little notch right here and cut around where the mag release Nice. And we are done. Just that simple and easy. 
to do on either side. So next we'll do the slide. So we'll be back in just a second. I gotta go get a small brush so I can brush this out really good. All right, so now we're gonna start the uh, slide part of this. Uh, now, since this is uh, this kit was made for a Glock, this particular decal is gonna be much larger than my 19 because it is actually made for a 17. So, we're just gonna line up somewhere in the middle to where we think we're good. Try and lay it right on that bottom edge. Now you don't have to take your gun apart when you do this, you can leave it together. I simply took my slide off because I thought this would be, probably be a lot easier to do. I was expecting that to kind of fit. Like wrap over and the blue line be on that side as well, but that's not going to be the case here. So now we can see that the blue line is along on this side, but on this side, you know, it has come all the way back across it. So we actually have this whole extra piece here that we're going to have to cut. So we are just about done. I think I've done all I can do. It's not the greatest job in the world, considering it was my first time ever doing this. But I don't think it came out too bad. And we just gotta do some final cutting out here. Like I said, you know, this is something that it's cheap and inexpensive for you to do, and then this way, you know, if you decide later on, hey, I want to, I want to change to a different design, you can pop this right off and then go back to a different design, or go to a different design. If you want to camouflage it, you can camouflage it. You know, you want to do a different kind of American flag, you want to do flames, you want to do skulls, you know, whatever it is, you know, you're gonna have that option. Whereas if you Cerakote it, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Then it's going to cost you a lot of money to get it re -cerakoted if you're wanting to have that done. Because you got to get the old stuff off and then put the new stuff on. And, you know, it can end up being a big headache and costing a lot more money. So, definitely something to consider if you're wanting to just change up the look of your gun or something like that. Or maybe you got an older gun and you don't want to really pay to for the blooming and stuff. I could see somebody doing this instead of uh, you know paying to get the gun reblued or something. You know, I'm definitely gonna have to get better at it myself. But you know, hey, so far I think it has come out quite well. And just remember when you're doing the cutting that you're not you're not trying to cut metal here. You're just trying to cut the vinyl. And there you go. And that's what it ends up looking like. 
So you have the blue line on this side, and then you'll basically have like an American flag style on that side. Um, like I said, I guess you could put the other blue line piece on here if you wanted to. It's only vinyl, and you're just laying vinyl over top of vinyl. So, you know, and I'll, I, you know, I guess you could just lay that blue piece on this side as well. But, you know, I like the, I like to having the whole kind of American flag kind of thing, and then go into the blue line on it. And like I said, this would be facing to the outside on me. So, yeah, definitely. Still got a good enough grip there. I still feel the texture. I still got grip. So, yeah, I like it. So, like I said, uh, for me, the hardest thing was is definitely getting around the sights. It, you know, it... It is very hard, and you know I can still see kind of little tiny small creases I got around around in certain spots. But you know what? For twenty bucks, you know you get a, a a new look to your gun, and you know it looks good, and it's actually going to help protect it a little bit. You know it's going to keep some of the mud and dirt and stuff off of the slide, and you know it's going to actually help protect it a little bit for a while. And like I said, it's cheap. It's easy to do. Uh, they've got several different uh, styles, so you guys can go check that out. And you know what? I got a piece here that if I want to use that on something else at a later date, you know, still got that piece. Oh, and these are for the uh, mags for the gun. So, you know, you just take those off, slap them on the bottom, and you got one for your mag. But there you go, anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Tell me what you think, yay, nay, you know, is it something you think about doing, you know. Alright, thanks a lot everybody.